The senior pastor of Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Abuja, Koza, Pastor Biodun Fato Imbo, aka Gucci Pastor, has been trending all over social media since this year for wrong reasons. He basically started the year by calling out Igbo people, saying that they are stingy, they don't give in the church. And shortly after that, the ex choir coordinator, Nen Nakalu Ude, called him out that him and his wife, Pastor Modele, operate court in name of church allegedly, that they've been mistreating their people and she lost one of her friends who is also a member of the gratitude choir in the church mysteriously hi guys you're watching m cheeky series if you're a joining subscriber thank you for your support i quite appreciate that it's good to have you around again and if you're new to this channel thank you for clicking on this video make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video also hit the red subscribe button and turn your notification bell on that way you get our latest updates so the senior pastor of commonwealth of zion assembly abuja aka gucci pastor aka crest pastor he started the year by calling out Igbo people that they find it difficult to give in church that it takes god for an ebook to give in the church they have a large heart but they believe that you shouldn't work their mind i don't even understand why he meant by that or he's trying to manipulate his church members to give to him to pay tithe and offering but there are better ways to do that instead of mentioning one tribe and when he had backlash he responded saying that he's not tribalist if you're not tribalist why are you making that statement anyway Igbo people are mostly business people because when you suffer to make your money think twice before you give out their money and more so most Igbo people belong to orthodox churches it's when you go there you see that they give pastor father in both calling Igbo people out in his church thinking that it will influence other Igbo people in the church to give He's just using his manipulative tactics to see if you work on the minds of Igbo people who are fellowshipping in his church. This Pastor Father Imbo has a lot of controversies trailing him. Started from 2013 when Ese Waters called him out. Actually, Ese was the first lady and female church member to call out the head of Koza. So in 2013, social media was set on fire when Ese Walter made a public confession about her illicit affair with Pastor Biodun Fato Imbo of her alleged illicit love affair with Pastor Biotun Fado Ibo while she was studying for her master's degree in London. And according to the narrative, the pastor had gained her trust, favor and confidence for one year that she was there before she traveled abroad. So they met in UK. The pastor was trying to initiate a surgery move that would turn into an illicit sexual affair that lasted for days. And when she came up with this confession, a lot of people called her demon, saying that she just wanted to defame the church. Essay eventually moved on with her life, she got married and finally divorced. She has two kids. Before you know it, in 2019, Timmy Dakolo's wife, Nigerian singer Busala Dakolo, called him out again, saying that he forced himself on her in her father's parlor. He came that day, the morning that she was putting on nightgown, and he forced her. After that, he gave her crest to drink. That she shared with Chude of Why Niger on YouTube channel. Pennies and I was wearing a nice gown. I was wearing pants, pulled down my pants, and that was how he eventually penetrated. Even blood dropped on the and a lot of people also came for her people also came for her husband so they charged the case to court and the judge threw away the case saying that it was statute bar there was supposed to be a time to report the case that the time has passed for them to pursue the case then some people like Tonto DK Nigerian Nollywood actress were making mockery of Busala Dakolo and even Reno Mockery said that he didn't believe that Pastor Bioden Fado Ibo is too slick to get involved in such things I don't know what he means by that there are other people that were also on his neck seriously calling him out like Akanani a Nollywood actor also he was among those people that protested in front of Koza because he used to be a member of Koza he was among those people who called on Fato Imbo to step down while all this we are going on one other pastor Busola Olotu in a lorry before you open this Koza church he used to be in a lorry he had a fellowship there something like a fellowship it wasn't a church it was like a gathering for Christian youths who used to be in cult and repented or prostitute who has given their life to Christ they gathered them this pastor, Busala Olotu, also made a confession on how somebody, one of her members, confided in her that the sister has been having trauma due to alleged affair she had with the pastor. She said, my younger sister has been facing deep psychological challenges since something happened to her um, years ago. She said, my sister was raped by a pastor. And she said to me, 
At this time, he was no longer in Elon. No, he was no longer in Elon. And I had Another ex Kosa member who used to be a member of Avalanche Choir, but she was based in Dubai, also spoke with Jude Day, but this time around, she spoke anonymously. She didn't show her face, but she was granted interview with Jude Day on Why Niger. She also exposed what she experienced in Dubai while working with Kosa, how the man also had kind of knowledge of her. So a lot of people came out to talk about it. Some people were still in support of him anyway, and a lot of people came out to demonstrate in front of Kosa while all this were going on. So how many years down the line and this choir coordinator Nana Kalude now appeared from nowhere choir coordinator of gratitude choir it's a collection of young people who have talent that they choir to the church according to this Nana Kalude she came out called him out over the death of her friend Tega who is also a member of that gratitude my problem with this calling out is that these people this group of people were among those people that were there when Busele de Kolo called Pastor Father Imbo out and some people allege that she is the ex-girlfriend to the pastor she is ex choir coordinator of the gratitude choir she took to her instagram story on 6th of january to call the pastor out the pastor and the wife out saying that he played with people like a game of chess that she doesn't blame those people that cannot speak up that she was like them before she decided to leave her fear at the gate of his court after their last workers meeting the pastor dissolved gratitude group not paying salary for months but still expect them to show up every day sending them out of the house removing every furniture and appliance in the house so that they will be forced to leave turning them against one another and eventually left six of them including this her friend Tega that lost her life that pastor Biodun Fato Yimbo allegedly made advances towards Catherine but she kept turning him down this led to them hating her for saying no that he also created a facade before the public that gratitude is treated specially when the, the members were paying for their flight tickets with their own salaries and contributing money together to record song that the only project they paid for was their first album that her friend Tega was experiencing pregnancy difficulty and spent the entire holidays in hospital bed that nobody visited her that she is slick us on them saying that their children will experience hundredfold what they put people through she also went further to say that according to her that Tega was going to leave this month and for some reason something usually happens to people who have either left or are planning to leave from strange illnesses to death and she has been accusing Pastor Fato Imbo of of being in court though she does not have evidence to buttress it now however Tega's husband came out to debunk this story saying that there are still members of Koza that Pastor Father Imbo has been a good support to them and that they're not going to leave the church the man has also received backlash from people they are saying that it is high service that he's just doing damage control how can he just lost the wife somebody who's supposed to be mourning he's out there talking about how good a pastor is and he has not been staying with the wife in abuja because he said it himself that he relocated to abuja this year pastor fato imbo and controversies are like five and six he is always being called out by his ex-church members one year 10 troubles they always call him out either for sleeping with people or having kind of knowledge of people one other thing or the other because even in this allegation she also mentioned what Catherine, whom he made advances to but unfortunately the lady kept turning down his offer and with that she became an enemy the name of a lady mentioned some names she said that they are psycho fans and they are the ones that allow themselves to be used by him and she mentioned some people who are also the ones that clean up his mess after him interesting in as much as people are trying to castigate people who call him out, the question people should be asking, is he the only pastor in Nigeria? Why is it that every time people are calling him out? Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it. And subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.